So the Babylon Bee is kind of viewed as the right-wing version of the Onion. And um, because of that, it's like, it's super popular among hyper-online, conservative-leaning weirdos, right? Like Elon Musk loves the Babylon Bee. They really think it's like edgy and funny, but I don't know. I, I think all their stuff is like sort of stale. Um, they're oftentimes punching down. Sometimes it comes across as kind of mean-spirited, right? It's not like putting the comedy first. It's almost like, let's put the trying to offend people thing first, right? Um, so I've never been a big fan of the Babylon Bee. Uh, yeah, maybe every now and then they hit with something, but most of the time it's just a worse version of the Onion. Just a more conservative version of the Onion. The Onion is still goaded, in my opinion. I mean, they still freak it to this day. Um, but interestingly, they pissed off their own fan base with this recent thing that just happened. So they tweeted the following, the white race must maintain our genetic purity, says inbred man. And you got this picture, and you got the Confederate flag, and you got the Nazi flag. And um, look, I mean, this is, we've all pointed this out, right? Everybody on the left, that it's kind of ironic that the people who are the most racist and are like very public about their racism and go around flying the Confederate flag and things of that nature, you take one look at them and you're like, you're not looking so master racy, son. Like, you just, sorry, you, you don't. You don't. It's oftentimes, you know, like some lowbrow trailer park trash type who's all in on far right, you know, white nationalist ideology. So, yeah, you know, fair. This is a fair article. And I'm sure this is their ability to say, hey, look, we, we punch in, in both directions. You know, we go after both sides. We're fair. This is what I think is going on at the Babylon Bee when they do something like this. So I saw that, and I read the replies, and oh, oh, you would be you would be shocked at over the years the mission creep that's happened on the right, where there was a time where everybody would deny, like, bro, us, me, I'm not racist. I don't know what you're talking. I I hate Nazis and stuff, bro. But somehow in 2024, we've gotten to the point where a lot of these people are just out of the closet. They're just like, yeah, racism. <laughs> so, okay. The Babylon Bee is run by Jews who often lash out against Christians and whites, FYI. Unfollow. What were you hoping to accomplish with this one? Hey, look at who's getting all snowflakey. I thought it was the left who were snowflakes. This isn't funny. Ha ha, any other races this applies to, or just the usual easy target? Yeah, because, you know, white people have it so rough, bro. We have it so rough, bro. Nazis are oppressed, bro. Disgusting organization, says Johnny Maga. I see the Jewish marching orders have been distributed, by, distributed to the right-wing influencers and media sites. The Babylon Bee is anti-white. Filth! So this is just a little sampling. When the tweet first came out, within the first four or five hours, you know, you scroll down, it's just, hate it, hate it, fuck you guys, you're a bunch of Jews, you're, all that stuff, everything you could think of. It got to the point later on, at least for me, where, you know, I I'm, I follow a bunch of lefty accounts, and you saw they were responding to it like, huh, interesting audience you've cultivated here. <laughs> so eventually I saw the liberal and leftist tweets sort of rise to the top. <coughs> but what does this say, man? Look, what I would say to the Babylon Bee people is this. There's a big difference between, like, how you self-identify, how you self-label. My guess is whoever runs the Babylon Bee, they would say they're center-right and they're, like, against wokeness or whatever. Something like that, right? But you always have to be cognizant of, like, what audience are you attracting? Like, you're saying something, but what are people hearing? And then where are they going to take it, right? And apparently that lack of self-awareness led to just a bunch of fucking Nazis and neo-Confederates and white nationalists and far-right extremists who love the Babylon Bee. And the second, they, I mean, guys, imagine being offended by this joke. Imagine being offended by that. You would only be offended by that if... You, in principle, are like, no, I want to defend literal white nationalism, right? Literal white supremacy or the Confederacy or, or Nazism. 
That's, you can only get offended by this in that scenario. There is no other potential scenario where you're like shocked and chagrined and angered over something like this. So look, careful, man. And this is, look, this is a point I'll make to every single right-wing influencer, whether they fancy themselves like, even if they fancy themselves like center-left, right, or enlightened centrist, and certainly the center-right people, certainly the far-right people, who you think you are and what you think you believe is one thing. The type of audience you attract is another thing. And for people like this, hey, you know, I bashed woke people for the 72nd day in a row, and oh, would you look at that? I got people following me with pictures of uh, Adolf Hitler as their Twitter picture saying that I'm the GOAT, right? And then when they take a shot at people on the far right, it's, how dare you? So be cognizant of the audience that you're attracting if you have any sort of position uh, of influence in any way, shape, or form. And that goes for everybody across the ideological spectrum, but especially for these right-wing outlets that might fancy themselves moderately conservative or whatever. Look at who you attracted. You know, this is this is your own bed. You made it, and now you're going to sleep in it. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.